okay, this is not the new Netflix Resident Evil. It's not the animated Resident Evil. It's not a Resident Evil with Mila Jovovich. It's a new Resident Evil just for you. Joy. Yeah, folks, we're going to take a look at the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. It just dropped a new trailer. I know we talked in the past a little bit about some stills that we saw from it where it did not look good. And the trailer, did it change my mind? I'm not so into this. I don't know. I may check it out. I'm not going to say I'm hyped about it, but there are some things that are good, some things that are bad, and we'll look at it together. Uh, just to give you a rundown on the cast, there's Kea Skoldalario, who you may know from the Maze Runner franchise. Um, Robbie Amell, who you may know as uh, the cousin of the better looking Amell, who played the Green Arrow. Tom Hopper, who is from, hmm, I think he's from Titans. <clears throat> You've got uh, Neil Mc McDonough, I'm bad with these names, but... You've seen him in Brand of Brothers and things like that. And you have Daniel Walsh, who you may know from Gotham. So, uh, I don't know. The cast, I mean, there seems like there's some people who can act in here. But let's take a look and see. Uh, they do have all your favorite characters. Leon, Claire, Chris. I, I don't know. There's one reason why I did this video, though. And the one reason, and I'm not going to play the song for you because it'll get us pulled from YouTube. But... The song they chose for this trailer is <laughs> just not good. Have you ever, you, I know you've heard it. It's the four non blonde song called Hey, What's Going On? Where it's just like, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah. That stupid song? Yeah, that's the one you're getting. And it, it shows up at the most inopportune time. In fact, uh, Mr. H reviews. I checked out his review of this trailer and he just he's British fella and he's like What the hell is this song? Why is this here? This ruins everything. Well, let's take a look But we do have our favorite liquor and this close-up of the liquor not so bad uh, I thought the CGI didn't look great and This with the stills that we originally saw I didn't even think this was a real movie like this looked like a streamer, but apparently it's coming out uh, November sometime let's see if it tells me mm, no but I know it's November something what's the do what's the date what's the date what's the date November 24th I guess it's coming out so the trailer drops now so let's just take a, a little bit of a look yeah we've got a uh, you know Claire in a motorcycle helmet groovy some gas mask guys there's one thing I, d I really didn't like I didn't like and I don't like that it's Sony but this sign, like this looks super like fake to me. This sign looks CGI. Like it doesn't look like a real, the Welcome Raccoon City sign does not look real to me. Uh, we get our first look at Claire here. She looks very concerned. I like some of the art with the umbrella logos hanging out. Uh, and I know this doesn't, it's one of those video games that's never really translated really well to film. It's always been a struggle. I know some people are a fan of the Mila Jovovich movies and obviously they made like 10 of them. So some people care. I've never been a big fan of those. Not even the first one. I just was like, this does not really catch the spirit of it. Uh, I kind of like parts of the first one, but not the whole thing. So um, she gets some sort of mysterious tape from some dude who says there's problems in Raccoon City. You got to solve them. So... I, it just looks like it looks like a real film, but it looks like it's filmed a little weird. They have, you know, your main characters, the RPD, Raccoon Police Department, sure. Um, there's not a lot of zombie action going on, so I'm not really sure. Like, this looks kind of bad. I didn't think this effect here with this guy driving the truck looked real good, where he flips the truck. I just thought that looks kind of like, this looks kind of fake to me. And especially the RPD sign. I don't know. Just I, It doesn't look like a real set. I could be wrong. But it looks like a little wonky CGI. I mean, it's accurate to the comic book. But I, I, I don't... It just... There's something feels a little off to me as I watched it. Yeah, you've got the explosion. I, I would, thought it would just be... 
Because according to some of the research I did, they had they say claim they had plans from the original game of the mansion, of the police station that they go through, and and they tried to match the set. I Sony's been cheaping out on a lot of stuff. I can't imagine they actually spent money for this. Yes, November twenty fourth. I should have seen it in the trailer. There's also a uh, dearth of zombies. There are not a lot of zombies in this. I I'm not sure. If it's real, like if I was watching this and I didn't know Resident Evil was about zombies, I wouldn't necessarily know that this was about zombies. I, I would know it's about some kind of outbreak, but I think they're taking that for granted where we're just supposed to know that. So Chris and Leon, that's cool. You get that guy. Supposedly Wesker's in it. I saw somebody starring as Wesker. This dude is some sort of scientist. I'm sure those who know Resident Evil lore better than I do will know it. Uh, we go on like it just wasn't super exciting. I don't know. I was like eh. Oh, there's this weird. Yeah, Lisa Trevor. I don't know. That's that deformed creepy creature thing I just I don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't seem real interesting to me. I could be wrong There's not a lot of people reacting positively to this so it looks like a B movie to me that they tried to film like that doesn't look like a zombie to me that looks like um either a blade 2 vampire or a vampire from the strain like it doesn't make me think zombie when i see it so i feel like they missed the mark there and that's the really only good picture we get of a zombie in this entire thing there's this i don't know what that is and it doesn't really look scary either i think where people go wrong with Resident Evil is it's supposed to be scary. This must be that creepy girl, Lisa Trevor or whatever. Yes, fear. I'm very afraid. I mean, there's the bad CGI dog. I, the, man, they cannot get these CG, these dogs to look right. And I know, look, I'm not going to expect you to dress up a, uh, a dog. But, like, come on. That looks pretty bad. You know. I, I don't want cruelty to animals, but I don't want my, my evil dogs looking like CGI dogs. I feel like they should be able to do them by this time. This looks real bad CGI. I don't know, like this liquor thing. I don't know what's going on here, but this does not look good. I mean, it looks like a cutscene from a, a, a the, the game, frankly. This does not look good, right? I can't be the only one thinking that. What happened to practical effects? Come on, people. There's a movie out there, The Void, with a lot of really good practical effects from a couple years back. Check it out if you like practical effects. Uh, let me see what else here. Yeah, they're scared. They're shoot oh, there's the liquor. I kind of like this, but I also think it looks fake. Like, it doesn't make me think anything in particular. I think it just looks like kind of like a cutscene from, you know, a video game. So, that's the trailer. I do not think I, I'm I'm even less excited now that I've seen it for the second time here. Uh, tell me what you think. Are you into this? Are we excited? Do you think they need to go? I, there's not enough time to go back and fix the CGI. And I don't, I don't know if enough people are going to... I mean, there's three or four new Resident Evil properties coming out. Like, what's going on here? So... Please give us a like, subscribe. Perhaps this is the time that we earn that subscribe from you. I hope we did. Uh, so we can keep giving you content that you're looking for. Our reactions, a little bit of insight, and some fun times. Come join us Friday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. for a absolute party that you can come attend with us as we live stream our audio uh, podcast that you can catch anywhere podcasts are offered. It is free to you on Apple iTunes. Spotify, Google Play, all those fun places. And uh, this is Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am on to the next one. Uh -huh.